Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Motivation Monday video. I hope you are having a fabulous day. So today I wanted to talk to you about making mistakes and how you can avoid making mistakes. However, it is very important to acknowledge that we need to make mistakes. If you are not making mistakes, you are not living your life to its fullest potential. We need mistakes to learn what is right and wrong and to learn about ourselves and to shape us into the people that we are today and the people that we will become. So so it is very, very important to make mistakes. However, making mistakes tends to leave us feeling really crappy about ourselves. We can get that, you know, that really awful anxiety after you've made a mistake where you just like you hate yourself, you think you're an idiot, you feel stupid and you just kind of start to self-hate and if you keep making lots of little mistakes or you know a few bigger mistakes it snowballs and then it can really throw us off course and we can really start to get into a bit of a depression and really hate the way that we look at ourselves and hate the kind of people that we are but there's always a way to come out of it and there's always a way to stay on top of it and so in today's video I wanted to share with you a few tips to you know maintain a good positive frame of mind when it comes to making Making mistakes, how you can avoid starting to make those little mistakes and how you can see the benefit of making those bigger mistakes and avoid being too hard on yourself and really hating yourself after making mistakes. So I hope you guys find this video helpful if you are in one of those ruts where you just are feeling really, really stupid. I'm hoping I can break you out of it and hope you, I can inspire you to see yourself a little bit more positively and see your mistakes more positively as well. So let's get started. The biggest part to this I think is being more self-aware and self-awareness is going to help you in every area of your life but when you are more self-aware you have a better understanding of yourself you are more in tune and you also have a really good understanding of how your words and your actions affect other people and also how they affect yourself and so this is kind of new to me I feel like maybe over the last year or so I've been working on being more self-aware and it's changed my life I think I would like to talk about this in more depth um, especially because it goes hand in hand with meditation and that's something I promised I would talk to you about but being self-aware I think helps us just be better people and I think it's um, a skill that we all really need to work on having and bringing into our lives so one of the biggest ways to create self-awareness and work on your self-awareness is meditation um, like I said I will be doing more videos about meditation but I think overall meditation is a great way to help you become more self-aware it slows you down into a specific moment it lets you become more aware of your body and your thoughts and in turn it helps you slow down your thought process and understand um, the information that you're giving out and the information that you're getting back in a much more slower, logical uh, manner, which I think is very, very important. So um, aside from meditation, I have three things to share with you that can help you slow down your thought process and become more aware of what information you're taking in and what information you're giving out. So the first one is to read or listen more thoroughly. I think sometimes when we read an article or we read a Facebook status, we read it so quickly that we don't actually have a thorough understanding of it and then we jump in with an opinion and we can get really fired up and nasty and then you look back and you're like, for multiple reasons, you're like, I didn't handle that very well. I also didn't have all the information or the facts and I misread that. I've just made a mistake and made myself look like a fool. And that happens to everybody and it happens all the time. And I think when you read things and you slow down and you have a thorough understanding of what is being written on a piece of paper or on the internet before you respond is a great way to um, slow down your thought process, have a thorough understanding of what's going on before you choose to respond. In the case of being in person, listening, you know, listening is really important, whether it's videos or someone talking to you, person like face to face, or even like texting, which is kind of written, so that doesn't really count. But in the case of audio, listening is very, very important. Making sure that you have listened to what is being said to understand it before responding and saying something that you might later on regret or doing something as a result of hearing or reading something that you may later on regret because you didn't have all of the information. The second thing is to do some research. If you read uh, this, I don't even know, let's not even, oh. Fake news, let's, yeah, we're gonna talk about fake news. There's fake news all over the internet at the moment. And you read an article and you think, man, that has like really struck a chord with me and I wanna get involved. 
only to find out that after you've said something about it, it wasn't even true or it wasn't entirely true or it wasn't the full story and then you end up looking like a fool because you failed to do the research to understand what it was that you were talking about. So doing some research, and this could apply to anything, articles, again, Facebook statuses, um, Instagram statuses, people in real life, it's about doing some research to make sure that you've got every angle covered because sometimes when you've got the blinkers on and you only know this much information, you can end up you know, making mistakes and saying things that you regret or behaving in ways that you regret. So it's really about widening your knowledge of all different kinds of things in the world and having a better understanding and understanding where and why your opinion is the opinion that you have before expressing that. Or in the case, you know, of doing something physical, like make sure you thoroughly understand something before getting yourself into it. It could be a deal or um, a holiday deal or an adventure deal or something. And you want to make sure that you've thoroughly understood everything that's going on before you can put yourself into any kind of physical danger or anyone else in physical danger. It's just about making sure that you really understand what's going on. And the third point is to ask questions. When you don't know, asking questions. I remember in high school, I would always get told, you know, there's no such thing as a stupid question because it's really important to understand. And I think sometimes we get afraid to admit that we don't understand what's going on. And asking questions is so important, you know? This ranges from everything. This could be, you know, asking someone to clarify why they've said what they've said on the internet or why someone in your family is saying what they're saying at the dinner table, asking them questions to explain it to you better. This could be asking your teachers or your boss or your employer, like, why is something happening so that you have a thorough understanding before you go off and complete tasks in the wrong way and do things the wrong way when they were supposed to be done another way. It's don't leave everything open to interpretation. Make sure you're asking questions so that you can get the right information from your teachers so that you complete the assignment properly or you do the job properly and you don't end up making a mistake. So make sure that you're slowing it down, reading more, listening more, doing some research and asking questions so that you have a thorough understanding before you choose to act on anything or say anything to people just to make sure that you're not uh, making silly little mistakes that could have been avoided that could in turn bring down your self-confidence. So it's just about understanding yourself and the kind of person that you are before doing things that could affect other people and yourself. The second part of the video is about acknowledging mistakes and that they are an important part of life and that we can feel positive about mistakes. We don't always have to feel so negative. Yes, it sucks to mess up and it sucks to hurt people and it sucks to feel like an idiot because you realize that that was actually very preventable and you could have done something differently. It sucks, but what you've got to do is learn from it. You really have to understand what it is that you messed up on, understand how you can change it and how you can move forward in the future so that you don't make the same mistake, you know? If you completed an assignment at school and it was so wrong and you got an F, maybe you can learn from that to go back and thoroughly read the assignment um, sheet or brief or whatever it is that they give you in school to complete assignments. You know, thoroughly read what it is you have to do, the instructions at your job so that you don't mess up. It'll give you a chance to go, I wasn't good at that before, now I'm going to be an absolute pro at reading instructions and I'm going to make sure I never leave anything out. It could be about getting into an argument with someone and you've hurt someone's feelings completely unintentionally, but it's because you didn't have all the facts and the information that were required for you to be able to have a healthy discussion. Or maybe you didn't slow down. You didn't slow down and think about how you were treating someone, how you were blowing up at someone, the things that you were saying to them because you're just in this rush and you didn't actually take time to slow down and be self-aware to acknowledge the information that's coming in and the information that's going out and you mess up and you hurt someone. You know, it's just about going, okay, Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. There is not one person on this planet that hasn't made a mistake before. Sometimes they are huge, life-changing, you know, moral questioning mistakes. And other times they're just little, little teeny teeny things that happen each and every other day. But these are things that we need to accept and acknowledge and learn from and move on from. So the next time that you make a really big mistake or you make a really little mistake, just remember that I've made a bunch of mistakes, the person next to you has made a bunch of mistakes, your whole family's made a bunch of mistakes, everybody makes mistakes. It's just 
the the best way to approach it is to learn from it so I hope that I have inspired you to look at making mistakes differently. I'm going to come back to this video and listen to my own words. I swear the next time I make a mistake, because I'm going to make a mistake, I'm going to keep making mistakes. That's what life's about. And the next time that I feel like I'm self-hating and I'm really mad at myself for making a mistake, I'm going to come back and watch this video and run, remind myself that it's okay. You learn from your mistakes, you won't do it again. And you know what, even if you do do it again, sometimes it takes a few times before we actually get the lesson but I'm going to remind myself and I'm going to remind you right now that it's okay to make mistakes and that there are things that we can do to work on ourselves to have a better understanding of where we've come from and put ourselves in the best position moving forward so I hope you guys have found this video helpful I really hope that none of you are feeling awful or self-hating right now and if you are please please don't because you need to use these mistakes to your advantage and turn them around into something positive and I know that you can do that. So I hope this was helpful. I hope you're having a fabulous Monday and a great start to the week. Up the top here, you can check out my last video. Down the bottom, I will leave a link to another one of my videos and I will see you in my next video, which will be either Wednesday or Thursday and it's going to be about organization and cleaning your bedroom. So stay tuned for that video.